I'm going to show you how to put one of these DVD drives into one of these Mac Pros. If you want to see how it's done, watch the video. Stick around. So this drive is a standard DVD platform, you know, CD, DVD, case size. Um, this Mac Pro is a 2010 model, which is like the same one up to 2012. And it's also very similar to the previous ones as well, 2008, 2009. So the actual way it's done inside is it's very similar. So we'll have a look at this. Get it opened up. I can find the lever. It's on the back somewhere. And you can see this one here has actually got some damage on it. When I ordered this, I purchased it online. When it arrived, it had been dropped. And um, it was actually a lot worse than this. I actually managed to throw it out, but it's, it's damaged. It's... I wanted the computer. The computer was fine, apart from this being bent. And this was bent over here too. But anyway, don't, you don't care about that. As you can see, this is the layout inside here. So you've got the processor cage and stuff like that in here. So two dual processor, this one. And there's my graphics stuff and fans over here. USB drives, stuff like that. Right, so this is where the cage is for the drives. This just pulls out. But what you've got to be careful about is there's some wires tucked in there and stuff like that as well. So we'll pull this out now and have a look. There's actually like a, you can probably see the loom in there. Okay, so there's the wire loom in there, which is really quite short. You can see that? And that's what it's got to get to, is just in there. So there's not a lot to it. So there's not a lot of room to move, so you've got to be careful about unplugging these. Because that's as far as you can pull it out. And there's the cage, right? So that is pretty much it. It's got these screws to take out. And you can see we've got to take the, the bezel off the front of the drive caddy as well. So you have to actually do that too. Now this drive here is a DVD drive. That's a, uh, sorry, that's a Blu-ray drive in this case, and this one's a DVD. Blu-ray drive's fairly new, it's only about, I don't know, maybe a year old, it still works fine. But this DVD drive here has, has failed. So I'm just going to take it out and put another one. Not, I could clean it, I'll try and recover it, but I'm just going to place a drive. I mean, this DVD writes a drive here, it's 30 bucks, New Zealand, which is cheap. So I'm just going to swap it out. So let's just get some space on this desk here. And... Alright, so let's get these screws out of this caddy. Now you can see actually... On these caddies, I've actually got storage here for screws. Now, for some reason I've got an extra one, I'm not quite sure why that is, but um, normally this, you only get one drive comes in a computer, which is the top one. Right. And the screws for the second drive are stored here for you by Apple, which is quite nice. So let's get these screws out. So that's bottom drive one I need to replace. So this drive, 2013, so it's um, well, five and a half years old, which, yeah, I don't know, it's not that old, but it's actually the same drive as the one I'm putting in. Now the model numbers, one I'm taking out is GH24NSBO, the one I'm putting in is G424NSD1, so this is a, obviously a newer version of this drive. So at least I know it should be compatible and everything, it should be the same basically. LG drives. So slide the new drive in. See it's got like a um, the frame around it there. So stick it side on because it makes it easy to get the screws lined up. I'll have to take this front panel off the bezel as well, this bezel. Take that out. Now it's got to get it lined up so I can see the screw holes. Like that, you can just see the holes there. Fine check the lights are a bit blinding. So what we do is we'll put some screws in, don't do them up yet, you just put them in to get them aligned, and you go around and do them up after you've got all the screws in. Otherwise you end up having problems with getting alignment right. Usually pretty good though, Apple stuff's usually pretty precise, but um, sometimes it's just a good practice to do that because things can be slightly out. Do the last one, then you can tighten it. Right. So 
So that's basically a drive in. So now just re reverse what we've just done. Um, we've got to take this bezel off. So you have to use a little ejector hole here to push this out to him so we can pop this bezel off. Um, so I need something to poke in there. My tweezers might do it. So a look. No, they won't. It's not long enough. I need something to shove in there. I need to find something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this long thin screwdriver and I've actually just opened this hole up very slightly because the screwdriver's a bit fat for it. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just an ejection hole. So I can now push that screwdriver in and push the caddy out like that. That's ejected it. Now, all I've actually got to do is unclip this thing, whichever way it goes. It goes up or down, not sure which way. Trying to look. It goes upwards. What's underneath there? May I not be able to see it. There's little clips bottom of the tray there, so we've got to basically push those over so it can release. Like that, there we go, that's off. Put it to one side in case you want to take the drive out and put it somewhere else. But a lot of these drives, you can see these are actually very similar. I think this might be an LG drive too, actually. Yeah, it is. That David drives in LG as well, so it's basically the same kind of chassis anyway. But um, same designs. So now we can put this back in the computer. But something that's always a good idea to do is try and remove any dust that's lying around when you pull things apart. So it's full of dust in here, so let's just scrape this out. It's got a bit of tissue, just give it something to stick into. So it's floating around in the air. I mean, you could put it out there, but you know, I'm looking at the, the fan actually. The fan in there is looking a little bit dusty. I'll show you that actually. A bit of dust on the tips of the fan. Probably can't really see it in there, but there's a little bit there, it's not too bad. So I might uh, give that a bit of a clean up as well actually before I carry on. Okay, I actually just gave it a bit of a brush around with this just to get the worst off. It wasn't that bad in there actually. I do tend to keep my stuff quite clean. I did pull this thing apart originally when I put this thing together, and I, I don't know, I've had this computer about, I don't know, six or eight months now, something like that. I did it all then. Alright, so now we've got to slide the caddy in and then try and plug these cables in. It's got some little feet, which these got these little lumps here. They're actually like slotted underneath, and it keys into these slots on here, which is what holds it in place. So you've got to make sure you line up to those. So that's actually on those slots now, so I can plug them in. <coughs> so when you've got these looms, you have to be careful about making sure you plug it in the right around, because obviously the actual drive it doesn't know which one's which, and this is based on the cable. So we should. Drive you plug the cable in will be the primary cable. So the eject button on the keyboard will eject the top tray. If you hold the option and hit eject, then it will eject the bottom tray. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, that's, that's a little tip for you. Now, I believe A is the top tray. I should have paid more attention when I opened it up, but it has to go in that way. And B must be the bottom tray. I really hope I got that right, otherwise, I told you wrong. If it's back to front, you just have to know to swap these cables around, you know, if it bothers you that much. Okay, let's slide that back in. And that's it. Done. Now what you should do while you're in here as well is have a bit of a clean up. Um, I might actually pull this tray here out and just do a bit of a clean. This isn't part of the process obviously. You, now you can put it back together and try it. But I actually want to have a look at my process card here and see what's going on. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's see what I'm doing. Check for dust. Check for build up, that sort of stuff. Yeah, there's quite a bit of build up in there. Um, so if I show this side of the tray, I can. A bit of dust on the input of those fans, on the uh, on the fins, so that should be cleaned out. And in here, there's actually a bit of dust build up in there and in the bottom as well. So clean all that stuff out while you're in here. Give it clean. Just you don't want a computer overheating or anything going wrong with it because it's got too hot. It's never a good thing. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna put it back together. No, I'm gonna finish what I'm doing here. So thank you for watching. Watching. Share this video with anyone you think might be interested in knowing how to putting your drive into one of these things uh, give us a thumbs up um, you know, share it on social media put comments down below if you want always like to hear what people have got to say you know interaction that sort of stuff is always great you want to hear back from the people which follow me and subscribe and like and, and click the bell icon and click the thing to get notified and that sort of stuff so thanks for watching catch you later
you have to make sure that you actually get these right around as well because on the keyboard, at least on, on the keyboard I've got, there's an eject button. And if you hit the eject button, it will eject tray one, the upper tray. But it doesn't know which drive is which, it's based on which cable you're using, okay? So you have to make sure you use, in this case, the longer one, one furthest away from the main loom, that's the upper tray. One on the bottom, closest to the loom, that's the lower tray. So you have to make sure you plug them into the correct one, otherwise when you hit the eject button, it'll open up the wrong tray, and you won't know which one's which. So, just a little thing to watch out for. Get it lined up, plug it in. I've got it all up and on. No, it's upside down. I've got it wrong around. Oh, I might be telling you if pork is there. I might have that wrong around. No, I can't have, surely. Nah. I think it might be the other. Oh no, I've got this. I'm, I'm not sure now. It might be the other way around. I think I've got it upside down. Yeah, I hit it upside down. So, yeah, there we go. Smart as an A. So, I'm guessing A is the top tray. So, start that bit again.